All right, in this video, we're going to approximate the area of a plane region. And what we want to do is we're going to approximate the area um, under the curve y equals square root of x plus 1. So here's y equals root x plus 1. Uh, we're going to do that between x equals 0 and x equals 3. And we're, we're going to do this by finding the areas of the rectangles. So again, sort of the idea is, you know, so there's square root of x plus 1. If you go from x equals 0, say, to x equals 3, we're trying to, what we would like to know ultimately is what's the exact value of this area. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to figure that out exactly. Um, and again, to do this, we're just using little rectangles. So we're chopping it up into a few pieces, and then we're just making rectangles that go up and over. Because again, it's easy to find the area of a rectangle. That's just width times height. Okay, so... Um, and in this case, it looks like we're going to get a bit of an overestimate because we're going to have too much. But that's sort of the, just the basic geometric idea. Well, to do that in this case, it really, you know, shouldn't be too terrible. Um, because the idea is we can get the height um, of each, I mean, the width of each rectangle is just going to be 1. I mean, we're going from 0 to 1, from 1 to 2, and 2 to 3. So they all have a width of 1. Now, certainly the height is changing. But the height is just the y value on the function. So if you think about, you know, this first point, that's the height of the first rectangle. Um, if we plug in x equals 1, so if we plug in x equals 1, we would get the square root of 1, which is, well, 1 plus 1. We would get the y coordinate of 2. Okay, if we figure out the coordinates of the second point here, um, again, it's got, a, you know, the x coordinates 2. And then uh, the y value would be square root of 2 plus 1. And then if we look at the third point, um, that would have an x-coordinate of 3. And if we plug that into the function, well, the y-value would be square root of 3 plus 1. And what we're going to do now, um, you know, if we just find the area of the first rectangle, so all we're going to do is we're just going to take the area of rectangle 1 plus the area of rectangle 2 plus the area of rectangle 3. And that's going to be our approximation. So, again, the first rectangle has a width of 1. And a height, well, again, the y-coordinate here is 2. So a height of 2. Plus the second rectangle has a width of 1. And again, we said its y-value is going to be its square root of 2 plus 1. And then uh, last but not least, our last rectangle also has a width of 1. And its y-value, uh, which is going to give the height, will be square root of 3 plus 1. Well, okay, so really what we have is 2 plus the square root of 2 plus 1 plus the square root of 3 um, plus 1. So if we add these together, um, 2 plus 1 plus 1 would give us 4. And then we have plus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3. Um, you know, you could obviously throw these into a calculator if you want. Um, this would, you know, be also an approximation. I've got a calculator handy, so I'm going to just approximate a little bit. Um, so the square root of 2, I'm going to use just 1.41. And then the square root of 3, um, I'll use 1.73. So if we add these together, uh, 1.73, I should really be able to... I'm getting uh, 7.14, which certainly uh, makes sense to me. So... Um, so that would be our approximation, again, to this, uh, the original area. You know, so again, we would like to know it exactly. We would like to have known that area exactly, but instead we're just approximating it. And again, just based on the geometry, you can tell from our picture, again, that we're getting uh, what we, what, what's called an overestimate. Um, clearly the rectangles are a little bit, a little bit too big here.